Hello, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, here, uh, I will learn how to create a web design page using a master page. Using master page. Now, first we open Visual Studio two thousand ten IDE. Okay, now first click file. Then now go to website and here is a dialog box open sorry uh, new uh, website design window open select empty website here is your solution explorer mm, there is only one file web.config file so now add new item master page and change of your page name home master home dot master and extension with dot master file uh, select class code in separate file this checkbox is checked because uh, your code behind file is mandatory for your master page mm, for further uh, use mm, select master page not necessary edit Here is only in your so source window of your master page. So uh, first of all, I would like to design this types of page. This type of page. This is the header part, uh, left side bar, footer part, middle of the content part, and the right side bar. So design it first. Class. A HTML table after the form tag. Here there is a HTML table. See design part. By default, a table contains three row and three columns. So, uh, designing the header part, select it and modify or merge it then the table row merge it header part your left side bar modify merge cell left sidebar modify Marcel right sidebar your right sidebar and uh, this is your content part plus content plus folder inside the content part because your body part contains content plus folder this is your right side bar and this is your footer part okay this is your designing part and the last row is a div delete here okay now your designing prepared select a new content page add new item select web form because the web form is run on browser only so select web form and change of your name this is the first page or home page also select select master page add it home only one master page there in solution explorer so appear home dot master page only select it now see the design part this is your actual design header part sidebar footer part and right sidebar every content page like the home page another one is the about dot aspx page contact dot aspx page that all the dot aspx page contains 
header part, live, left side part, footer part, and the right side part. So dotly, you can say the home dot master page. The master page contains the structure of your web page. Like this is the home page. Welcome to home page. It's a web design. It's a web page design tutorial. Okay. Another one create a contact us page. Add new item. Web form. Select contact page. Also select the master page. This is my contact. This is my blog name uh, dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Feel free to contact us. This is your heading part. So now we'll be changed it for it. Uh, the font face is the Arial and the larger. Okay. So I have two pages. First one is home dot aspx page and second one is contact.aspx page so now the header part contains the both part so first is if we uh, see the browser window of the home.aspx page the home.aspx page the all the remaining part header part left sidebar and the right sidebar and the footer part only create only for one time same looking like a uh, wind browser this is your contact us page uh, the remaining part header part left side bar footer part and the right side bar is constant so the main purpose of the master page is to design the structure of your theme so please be careful for designing templates Thank you, thank you very much.